the fight. Thoughts and prayers are useful, but the Pope has the Swiss Guard, which is essentially a global Navy SEAL unit, and travels behind bulletproof glass. Logic. Another fun fact is Nancy Pelosi wants to ban bump stocks, which have been banned for like two and a half years by President Trump. More, more logic. I'm not sure what kind of political theater, like theater these idiots are engaging in, but it's not even like covert anymore. These idiots are blatantly playing to what they think is their base. Just, it, it's, it's a charade. It's, it's gamesmanship, brinksmanship, and the only people being sacrificed are blue-collar pawns. Because even if they banned something, Rich people are going to have access to it. When the IRS was used as a tool to go after mobs in the 30s, they, they weaponized money. They weaponized the IRS and created the National Firearms Act, which restricted fully automatic weapons and silencers few other items, like short barrel shotgun and stuff like that, they basically just tried to price that stuff out of common access. You could still get them, you just had to pay a bit more. And back in 1937, when they passed that nonsense, or 1938, when they passed that nonsense, $200 was metric shit ton of money. I have news for you. When gas is $5 a gallon, it's $200 is still a lot of money. So it's not that you can't have a machine gun. You just have to be able to pay to get one. When Reagan banned the manufacture of new machine guns for civilian sale, he didn't limit your access to them. He just limited production of them. And all that did was drive the price up. When it drove the price up, it again made the cost of ownership the barrier to entry. You can't have a machine gun unless you can afford to buy one. And just like now, all of a sudden, when you limit production, it becomes like a rare coin. When you cap production, you don't limit use. You just raise the price of it. So here we are, again, limiting the common man, woman, child, other, he, she, him, sure, whatever, from having it. You're making it fiscally irresponsible to have it for a common individual. It's not too much money for somebody that has some, but not a lot of people, not a lot of the middle class have a disposable income to pay to get around these laws. That's all they're doing. One of their things is, we're going to make a 1,000% or 100% tax on firearms, on the AR-15 specifically. Okay, cool, you can still have one, but now you're going to pay the government more to have it. You're not reducing it, you're just making it more expensive and you're profiting off it. You can have a DUI as long as you can pay to defend it. It's not illegal. You can crash into a 90-year-old and they'll drop the charges. If you're somebody in power and you can backdoor some money, I'm sure that there was a consequence to that representative's husband smashing into an 89-year-old when he was drunk. I'm sure, I'm positive there was a consequence. But I have a, a high probability that that consequence was money.
just paid to make it go away. Or she paid to make it go away. DUIs aren't illegal. They're just expensive. A law that is there to be a revenue generator? Interesting facts. Interesting times we're living in, folks. Tell me what you think. I'm curious. How many of you think this is acceptable behavior? I got to hear it from you. I'm going to go get my shoulder fixed. Have a good day.